you calling me this late? It's almost 6 a.m. You can hear that, right? Tell me, Hajime. You hear that music too, right? Yeah, what's the deal with that? We aren't supposed to have any phones or TVs in the house. I don't know where this is coming from, but it's kind of creeping me out. And if it's another... go to sleep. It's really late and I have something to do tomorrow. Nagito? Nagito? What is that? Nobody is to make you safe. No. You are too late. Open your eyes. Look, I get it. You've been fixated on these things for a long time, but I really don't have the time for this. You just show up and tell me what's going on. How you tell me? What's your emergency? I, I, my friend, he's bleeding on the ground. Right. Is he still breathing? I, I don't know. I don't want to get too close. I, I think I saw something over there in the dark, but I, I don't know. Um, that's okay. Where are you right now? It's... Uh, Alright. Is your friend moving? No, he, he's just lying on the ground. We're sending someone right now. Do you think you could go to the front of the house? I, I can't. I can't move. I'm too scared. I think it's behind me. Welcome to training tape number seven. Let us continue from where we left off. Today's subject will be about what happens if an alternate feels your fear. First of all, if you interact with an alternate be sure to stay alone so it cannot affect anyone else. Do not ask for help, do not tell anyone about it. If for some reason you reveal your fear during a phone call, there is no hope for you. You will be next. Just accept your fate or kill your s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s s